I'm Todd Taylor. In this video, I'll be talking about the decarboxylation of carboxylic acids. The decarboxylation of carboxylic acids is a useful reaction in synthetic and bioorganic chemistry. Decarboxylation only occurs in two specific instances. The first for beta carbonyl carboxylic acids, which occur under non-radical conditions. The second for simple carboxylic acids, which only occur under radical conditions. Now let's look at the decarboxylation of beta carb carbonyl carboxylic acids. In the general reaction, under thermal conditions, is represented by this triangle. Beta carbonyl carboxylic acids spontaneously decarboxylate to yield carbon dioxide and ketones. This reaction plays a key role in the acetoacetic ester synthesis and the malonic ester synthesis. Let's look at the mechanism for the decarboxylation of beta carbonyl carboxylic acids. In the mechanism, the beta carbonyl carboxylic acid must exist in a conformation where the beta carbonyl is hydrogen bonded to the hydrogen of the carboxylic acid. In this conformation, there's a, a cyclic rearrangement of the bonding electrons which results in the dissociation of the beta carbonyl carboxylic acid to yield an enol and carbon dioxide. The enol then spontaneously tautomerizes to form the ultimate product, a ketone. For an example of such a decarboxylation, let's look at a classic reaction. The acetoacetic ester synthesis. In this synthesis, the starting material ethyl acetoacetate may be singly or doubly alkylated for in the first step. <clears throat> in the second step, the ester may be hydrolyzed to form a beta keto carboxylic acid, which then spontaneously decarboxylates to form carbon dioxide and a substituted ketone. Now let's look at the decarboxylation of simple carboxylic acids, which occurs only under radical conditions. In the general reaction, a simple carboxylic acid under appropriate conditions decarboxylates to form a radical and carbon dioxide and a proton and electron, which may or may not be removed as a pair. The decarboxylation of simple carboxylic acids occurs in the well-known rough degradation of sugars and also sometimes the initiation of radical polymerization. For the mechanism of the decarboxylation of simple carboxylic acids under radical conditions, a radical is shown here to abstract the hydrogen atom from a carboxylic acid to yield a carboxyl radical and the byproduct HR. Carboxyl rad radicals are rather unstable and spontaneously decarboxylate to form carbon dioxide and another radical. As an example of this type of decarboxylation, let's look at the rough degradation of sugars. Here, the aldehyde of ribose in the presence of aqueous bromine undergoes oxidation to the carboxylic acid, ribonic acid. The carboxylic acid with subsequent addition of hydrogen peroxide and iron three undergoes radical decarboxylation to yield carbon dioxide and erythrose upon in situ oxidation of the topmost carbon. As a further example, let's look at radical decarboxylation as it's used in the initiation of radical polymerization. Here, benzoyl peroxide in the presence of heat or light undergoes hom homolytic cleavage of the weak oxygen-oxygen single bond to yield two benzoyl radicals. These two carboxyl radicals decarboxylate to form two carbon dioxide molecules and two phenyl radicals, which then may initiate polymerization. In conclusion, decarboxylation results in the loss of carbon dioxide from a carboxylic acid containing compound. Once again, there are two instances when decarboxylation occurs. The first for beta carbonyl carboxylic acids under non-radical conditions. The second 
for simple carboxylic acids only under radical conditions. These decarboxylations occur in reactions such as acetoacetic ester synthesis, the very similar malonic ester synthesis, and the rough de degradation of sugars.